Yeah. If you're watching and you're trying to figure out which one of his ankles is the one that was hurt, Can't I don't tell. know that you would know. That's a good point. There's a nice deep dig right there. For yeah, he can corral, do that. For sure. Once he kind of took hold of that, uh, felt like it allowed him to become a better football player, allowed him to become a better leader for his teammates. As Oregon, yeah, really nice throw on the run there, again, for Matt Corral. But I think sounds like, uh, again, just a, you know, it's a guy kind of growing into himself yeah. in a lot of different ways, not just uh, on the field but off as well. So say what you want about it. It's, if, it's as or if not more intriguing this year because of the, the mysterious nature of who's going to be there, who's going to take it. I, I think there's a good group of bees, you know, and, and I mean that it's a compliment. And where does he stack? And you have to look at the tools and the talent to, to make that evaluation. Again, on the money, nice ball placement. There. So before the game, when I look at quarterback prospects, the athleticism and that, that gunslinger mentality to me yeah. is appealing. He's got real good rhythm to him, too. He does. I mean, real nice pace with everything he does, uh, the way he gets away from center, the way he's moving to his left and his right. I mean, as you mentioned, DJ does not look like he's showing any effects from the ankle injury. No, moving around really well. You know, heart sinks into your, ch into your oh. stomach when you're watching that bowl game, and you're sitting there going, "Oh no!" And, and so to to see him back this quick after Absolutely. the scare that that was, um, this is pretty cool. And then he had some issues under pressure this year. You can do the cut ups and watch the cut up sure. tapes when he got bodies around him and pressure around him. I thought you saw him be a little bit skittish. That's the other area, which you're not going to see that in a pro day, so it's tough to simulate. So the receiver's kind of in a stationary spot there as Matt works through. These scripted throws. Couldn't really tell where the receiver was on yeah. that one. He's, he's moving well, yeah. though. You can definitely. He definitely is. Yeah. And that's really, I mean, coming off of the injury, probably the most impactful part of this pro day is just seeing where he's at health wise. He looks great. And Matt Corral got after him. And I said, what What was your takeaway on him? I mean, he's you, in the ACC. You've seen Trevor Lawrence. You've seen all these, you know, t a lot of top quarterbacks over the last few years. And he said, this kid's as talented as just about anybody you're going to see. Now, yeah. it, it's impressive when you're out there on the field to see him. Uh, letting it rip like we're watching him do today. Yeah, it was his most productive game of the 2021 season, at least in terms of yards, almost 400 in that opener mm. win over Louisville. Yeah. So many, so much quarterback movement this year, which of course makes these draftable quarterbacks all the more intriguing because you wonder where the musical chair is going to stop where a team is like, all right, I got to have this guy on April 28th in the first 32 picks. It, it, it's going to be fascinating to watch because the two dominoes left to fall would be Jimmy Garoppolo and Baker Mayfield. Right. And then we have this class, and so naturally if you're evaluating, you have to evaluate these guys versus the potential that those other guys display. Now, if we pick them, here's my question. Or, you know, a year from now, two years from now, are we right back in the same room saying, we got okay, we got to get better than this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the whole argument. And, you know, we'll yeah, watch it on now. TV. We'll see yeah. what everybody else sees. But I don't, I don't need yeah. to go there in person to see it. Now, there's other people you talk to and say, every opportunity I get to be around these guys, I'm going to choose to take it. And, uh, and I want to watch this guy throw live as many times as I can because it helps. No, it's just a, it, it's, a, it's a piece of the evaluation process, bigger for some than others. I think that's fair. As Matt Corral sends one to the end zone there. Uh, wasn't quite reeled in, but again, put it out there for his wide receiver to go make a play. So let's see. This is definitely... Uh, a workout with uh, with some pace, as you as you mentioned, and and look for Corral. You know, you don't know how you know where the conditioning level is uh, from, you know, the work that he's been able to do trying to rehab the injury as well. So here we go. I'm gonna put another some air into this one. I'll take that one for a score. Don't have any problem with that? He passed that test That's already. What I'm saying that was fun to watch. Back at the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Corral puts one deep once nice again. Ball. Connection. Nice ball. Connection. Nice ball. All right, we got some, yeah, some people out there getting fired up here. We had the Liberty basketball right. out good. there yesterday. That was good. I think half of the uh, undergrad enrollment from Liberty was out there <laughs> yesterday. Uh, it was festive. It was a party. Yeah, it is. I mean, that is a tight, compact stroke right there. Type of system, uh, Buck, that might fit this skill set uh, as we sit here, maybe maybe better than others right now in terms of teams that are looking. I'm really intrigued by him saying close to the sip down in New Orleans with the Saints. Mm. Just yeah. beat Carl Michael. You have Jameis Winston on a two-year deal, but have an opportunity. In terms of uh, if, you know fundamentals, mechanics outside of the release, the way uh, the, you know the feet are connected with the eyes. I mean. 
we, we, we get that here? Is there still work Just like done? an obstacle course. Yeah. So Matt Corral, as we mentioned earlier, one of five quarterbacks this year that went 20 and 10. 20 plus passing touchdowns, 10 plus rushing touchdowns. You know, a threat on the ground through the air. And now trying to drop this in the bucket. Mm, right here we go. There, corner of the end zone. It's a nice view. All right, let's, let's give him a scenario here. Come on, here. Third goal from the six. Oh, we be Fourth quarter. What do we got? Here we go. Working oh, left to right back, back, back line. There Take we go. Touchdown, touchdown, Rebels. Now we're talking. Let's have one. Into the deep ball as we welcome you back to this Path to the Draft Pro Day special from Ole Miss's Pro Day, Matt Corral from the goal line to about the 44. So pretty good right there. Matt Corral, no shortage of arm strength. The ball jumped out of his hand. Oh, some throws he missed, some accuracy that, you know, probably he'd like to improve upon. But you take into account all the rehab he's been doing, the lack of time together with these guys. I, I think he accomplished what he needed to accomplish. Sure. Today. Yeah, I think the main thing we wanted to see from him coming in was a reminder of how talented he is as a passer and playmaker. We saw him move around. We saw that he's returned to full health. We saw the arm talent that we had an appreciation for, particularly the quick rhythm throws and those things. So solid overall day. We can go back and look at the tape and kind of figure out where he stacks with the rest of the crew. And they're performing in front of plenty of teams that could be in the quarterback market when we get to Las Vegas on April 28th in the first round of the draft. Uh, you know, like Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers. 